Right everyone, Weapon Vector here. Right, I thought I'd do a couple of crossbow tests today. So I thought it would be interesting to test whether twisting the strings on a crossbow make it more powerful. Now to be honest I pretty much know this does work but it would be nice to see a visual representation of it with a chronograph um, work out the foot pounds difference. So I'm going to be testing two of the lighter limbed crossbows today. The reason for that is they're easier to take the string off and put it back on. Now if these tests work really well I will do the more powerful crossbows just to see what the difference is with the amount of twists and then people can actually do that on their crossbows. But I want to see what kind of differences you get anyway because if it's a minimal difference then it's not really worth doing anyway. So I shall be doing it on this old pullback pistol crossbow, I think this one is marketed at about 80 but it's more about 50, maybe less than that. And this one is um, an 80 pound one. I can't remember what this one was but both these limbs are uh, reasonably easy to bend. And that's quite a thin one. But again, it's just to make it easier for me to take the string off and restring it. So I should be taking the strings off, putting them on with no twist chronographing them, putting on a certain amount of twists and doing it again and then if there's a big difference we can work out what kind of difference it would be on something like the Tomcat 2 or the Redback and say the Jaguar, some of the common crossbows. Right so let's get down to the tests. Right we'll do the little pullback crossbow first. I don't know if you can see this but there is absolutely no twists in this at all. No. And I should just be shooting these bolts. Doesn't really matter what bolt, as long as it's the same bolt for each test, you'll know that there's a difference. I'll shoot each crossbow twice. Right, I'll show you this one again. You might be able to see there's no twists in that at all. So what I'll do now is take these strings off and twist them, and I'll do that on camera. Right, so that's the string off. I shall now give this... Right, that was approximately six, maybe seven twists. That is that one done. I'll now take the string off of this one. And again, give this approximately six or seven twists. Right. About six or seven. Full of twists. Uh, 
And as you can see, that is why I chose to do these ones because it's so much quicker to take the string iron off. Because if I did that with the other ones, I'd have to use a cocking string and stuff like that. <clears throat> right. So we'll do the one I used first again. Hopefully I remember to do two shots each. Okay. I don't think that's made a difference with that one. Right. Unless this was the one that was shooting at 14, that's 41. Um, I'll see afterwards. Right, this one. They both felt harder to cock. Okay. I shall look at the results, come back to you. Right, so that's the test done. And as I mentioned before I did this, I did know that this would make a bit of a difference, but it's interesting to see how much difference it would make. So both of the strings I twisted around about six or seven full twists. You may be able to see the twists in the string there, I'm not sure. It's probably still focusing on my face. Uh, I've done some calculations and, well, I'll tell you the results. We'll go over the results on the old crossbow first. Six or seven twists. This one went from around about 4.3 foot-pounds without the twists and then with the six or seven full twists it went up to about 4.5 foot pounds it can vary a little bit each time you shoot the bolts they vary a bit but it was around about 4.3 to 4.5 so that was that one the much newer crossbow with the newer limb on it that one was shooting around about six foot pound with no twists and then with the six or seven full twists it went up to about 6.2 foot pounds. So yes, you are gaining some power. Um, how much 0.2 of a foot pound would make, I don't know, but it definitely does work. I don't know if putting any more twists in it would make much difference. It is making the string quite a lot shorter. Um, yeah, so yeah, it definitely does make a difference. They were shooting quicker and they're hitting harder now. They're yeah, quite interesting. So if you'd like me to do these tests on other crossbows, let me know. I've got, well, I've got about 24 crossbows I could do this on. So I have got the Red Bat, the Tomcat 2, the Adder, the R9, stuff like that. Anything that's a sort of recurve where you can take the string off reasonably easy, I could do these tests to see what the difference would be. Some crossbows, the string is already on, then it will be twisted anyway. So yeah, there you go. Twisting your string does work. You will gain a little bit more power out of it with even just six or seven twists. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. If you like this kind of video, I do a lot of crossbow videos and other weapon related videos, loads of it. So don't forget to subscribe, all right? Cheers, everyone. See you later. Thanks for watching.